The accidental administration of dermal fillers inside an artery will cause the tissue to break down and potentially cause irreversible blindness. Hi, I'm Dr. Messina, practicing aesthetic medicine on Long Island. Dermal fillers are safe and effective, but there are certain precautions that must be taken to avoid potentially catastrophic outcomes. In this video, I'm going to teach you what you should know before you get dermal filler injections, how we would treat these emergencies, and we're going to specifically discuss the case of Lily Galici. If you don't know who she is, she's an attorney entrepreneur who is also a makeup mogul. And she went for a little hyaluronic acid dermal filler in the tear trough area. And she developed an immediate arterial occlusion. And instead of keeping it a secret, she went public with her journey, which was really good because she was able to educate millions of people very easily. Let's face it, as we age, we develop fine lines, folds, and wrinkles in the face. And we all want to look younger. And the fastest, most reliable way of achieving that is by the injection of dermal fillers. The hyaluronic acid dermal fillers truly revolutionized facial rejuvenation by making a product that was safe and very effective. Plus, it gives results that could last from several months to just over a year. However, it is truly a medical procedure. And whereas most of the patients will leave the office looking better, feeling better, and being very happy, occasionally, you're going to have an adverse outcome. And the worst adverse outcome of dermal filler injections would be the inadvertent occlusion of an artery which will immediately cut blood flow and oxygen to the tissue it's supplying. And that tissue is going to start to break down very quickly and then become necrotic. In other words, start to decompose. If that artery was supplying your retina, it could lead to immediate and irreversible blindness. Now, when you decide to get dermal filler injections, there are a few things you should know and do that are extremely important and very likely to give you the best outcome. Hello? Who are you? I'm here for the Botox and filler party. I've brought some Merlot, and I've got a whole bunch of syringes for everybody. Are you a doctor? Of course I'm a doctor. What do you mean? I have this old beat up lab coat on. Yeah, I see you have a lab coat on, but it doesn't make you a medical professional. How about training? Do you have any certificate of training? Certified? You want certified? Here you go. Let me see that. That's a warranty to a washing machine. Wink to those of us over 60. I was trying to be a little funny there, but all kidding aside, the injection of Botox and the dermal fillers is the practice of medicine. And it should be delivered only by a medical professional a physician, a nurse, or a physician's assistant. In almost every state, those are the only three people legally able to give you injections. In fact, you have to have a medical license to obtain these products. Unfortunately, many people don't think about that and wind up going to a party and getting injected by somebody who has no training and really no legal basis to be doing this at all is very important to understand facial anatomy, in particular, where the arteries and veins are. And you could see the face is flush with the blood flow. And it's very important for your injector to not only know where these blood vessels are, but how deep they are. So if you're going to somebody who has no training or even just a weekend course, you're really putting your health at risk by having them inject you. And sometimes, as you saw in that little skit, they're not even using the supplied syringes. All of these dermal fillers come packaged in pre-filled sterile syringes with sterile needles. And believe it or not, we had this happen on Long Island. We had somebody with a bag of syringes that they filled with quote-unquote hyaluronic acid, but it wasn't from any major company, and it wasn't FDA-approved products. Many times, patients will call and say, how much is a syringe of Juvederm? What does a syringe of Radius cost? And that's not the question you should be asking. The question should be, what is your experience 
Are you a licensed physician? Are you a nurse? Are you a PA? How many injectables have you done already? And even more importantly, how do you handle emergencies? And one of the most important reasons for finding a medical profession is they're more likely to identify a problem early and then treat that problem early because time is of the essence when you have an arterial occlusion. Now let's look at the case of Lily Galici. She said she went and had a drop of hyaluronic acid placed in the tear trough. It was probably more than a drop. I find the average tear trough on a female takes about 0.25 to 0.5 cc's. She noticed something immediately was wrong and that it started to burn and it felt very uncomfortable. She's very lucky that happened because these products have lidocaine in them, which numbs the skin. So often that burning sensation is masked and the patients start to feel pain after they go home. Now, if her injector noticed it, you would have seen that area blanch. Once you cut the blood supply off, the area that that artery is supplying becomes white. And later, it starts to pink up and then become an ashen color. The next morning when she woke up, it was even worse. It started to become darkly colored, which means the tissue is starting to break down. Now, the fact that it was under her eyelid, it was probably the inferior orbital artery that was occluded. So the risk of her going blind was significantly less than if it was other arteries. However, the risk of her losing her lower eyelid was very high. When she presented to the physician, they immediately started to flush it with something called hyaluronidase, which helps dissolve those fillers almost immediately and help restore the blood flow. But it's a harder thing than you think because you start flooding the area. It would be almost impossible for you to re-inject that artery in that exact spot that's being occluded. So you tend to flush the entire area. And afterwards, they did other treatments. Now, after this is all over, she has her blood flow back, she is healing up, she saved her eyelid, she had no blindness. However, she does have some darkness of the lower lid and upper cheek. So what do we normally do if we're injecting somebody and we notice that they've gotten an arterial occlusion? Well, the first thing is when I'm injecting, I'm always concerned about where I am. And then when I'm injecting, I'm injecting extremely slow. And as I'm injecting, I'm looking for any evidence of an occlusion, any slight blanching or whitening of the skin. If you see that, you immediately stop injecting and start vigorously massaging the area. Hopefully you could compress that filler and get some blood flow back. If that doesn't work, warm soaks, nitro paste, but the patient's gonna get a headache to dilate up the artery. They could also chew on an aspirin, which is a pretty disgusting thing to do. If all of those methods haven't restored the blood flow, you have to start to flush the area with hyaluronidase and any quality practitioner will have hyaluronidase immediately on hand at all times for all dermal filler injections. And usually that hyaluronidase helps dissolve the dermal filler and restore blood flow. And after we've restored the blood flow using the hyaluronidase, it's important to maintain oxygenation so many patients will get hyperbaric oxygen therapy anywhere from 12 to 20 days to help increase oxygenation of those tissues. So it's so important to pick a practitioner that's not only properly trained and will give you a most beautiful outcome, but somebody who will be able to identify and immediately treat any complications that might arise. I hope I answered all your questions in this video. If I didn't, remember, catch me in the comment section and I'll always answer you. And in the meantime, I have a few more videos on dermal fillers and facial rejuvenation I think that you'll enjoy.